This is John Lennon saying on behalf of the Beatles, have a very happy Christmas and a good new year. George Harrison speaking. I'd like to take this opportunity of wishing a very Merry Christmas to listeners everywhere. Hello, this is Ringo Starr and I'd just like to say Merry Christmas and a really Happy New Year to all listeners. So this is John Lennon wishing you a very happy one. Behalf of the Beatles, it is Paul McCartney saying, have a happy Christmas holiday and is wishing you success and good health all through 1967. This is Ringo Starr and I'd just like to say Merry Christmas and a really Happy New Year to all listeners. Oh. This is John Lennon saying on behalf of the Beatles, have a very happy Christmas and a good New Year. This is Paul McCartney here and I'd just like to wish you everything you wish yourselves for Christmas. George Harrison speaking, I'd like to take this opportunity of wishing a very Merry Christmas listeners everywhere. This is Ringo Starr and I'd just like to say Merry Christmas and a really Happy New Year to all listeners. Everywhere it's Christmas so this is John Lennon wishing you a very happy one. On behalf of the Beatles this is Paul McCartney saying have a Happy New Year and here's wishing you success and good health all through 67. Radisson wishing you all the very best for Christmas and happy listening in 1967. Ringo Starr here. <coughs> hmm. uh, do that one I had, slow down. Yeah. Uh, on phone. This is John Lennon saying on behalf of the Beatles, have a very happy Xmas and a good new year. Take two. This is John Lennon saying on behalf of the Beatles, have a very happy Christmas and a good new year. Take two. Beatles are going to go their own ways in 1967, do you think? They could be, you know, on our own or together. We're always involved with each other, whatever we're doing. Could you ever see a time when, in fact, you weren't working together? 
I could see us working not together for a period, but we'd always get together for one reason or other. Like, I mean, you, you need other people for ideas as well, but, you know, and we all get along fine. Will you, will you, be, will you be doing films on your own next year? Uh, no, I don't want to make a career of it. I did it just because I felt like doing it. And if some, um, Dick Lester asked me, and I said yes, and I wouldn't have done it if the others hadn't liked it. You know? yeah. They said fine, because we were on holiday anyway. Do the others have film ambitions on their own? No, nobody's particularly interested in it. I'm not all that mad on it. No. What do you really want to do? I mean, do you write I don't know. I just want to do a few things, you know. Yeah. And you haven't really decided exactly what... No, I'll try a few things, you know, but I just found out a bit more about films doing that. You know. What's this, the songwriting team thing will keep going on, whatever happens, will it? Yeah, we'll probably carry on writing music forever, you know, <laughs> whatever else we're doing. Because you just can't stop, you, you know, you find yourself doing it whether you want to or not. But you think the tours, like the American tours and the English one, you know, the well, stands in England... You know, there must be a point where they don't work anymore because they're not to do with what we're doing, record-wise or film-wise. Paul? Good evening. Hello. John Edwards, right here. How are you? Can I just have a brief word with you? Yeah. If you never toured again, would it worry you? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think so. Wouldn't worry you. But because the only thing about that, you see, is that uh, performance for us... See, it's, it's gone downhill performance, because we can't develop when no one can hear us, you know what I mean? So for us to perform, is, uh, it's difficult, it gets difficult each time. You mean they don't More listen difficult. to you, and therefore you don't want to do that? Oh, yeah, we want to do it, but uh, if we're not listened to, then, and we can't even hear ourselves, then we can't improve in that. We can't get any better. So uh, we, we're trying to get better with things like recording. How are you? Can I stop you? Well, have a brief word with you. Do you think that in the new year that you're going to be going your own ways instead of being no. a group? No. No? No. George, definitely not. not. What about another word? Hello, boys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> fine, fine. Can I ask you a few questions? Uh, yes, yes. And then I'll turn you around this way then, all Which right? Way? This, this way? way. No, this Hello? way. Hello? You're looking very smart anyway. Uh, yes, I am. Well, I had a bath. What's all this about that the Beatles are going to do less together in the new year? Yeah, we won't be too... The thing is, you see, to do things together, the four of us, it's going to be the old things all over again, you know. You and don't so, want to do that? No, we don't want to do, you know, what we've done already. So the thing is, because of the film, you know, we can't get a decent script, or we're still trying for one. If we don't do that, we'll most probably all do something else different, you know, for next year. On your own? Yes, but, I mean, it's it's not like breaking up. We'll still be coming back together at the end of it. Do you foresee a time when, in fact, the Beatles won't be together and that you'll all be on your no, own? No, no. You you, have you got tired of each other? No. <laughs> no. Have you got anything lined up on your own? Film no. parts, for example. Um, well, there may be one if we don't do one together early next year to save, see? I'm sort of out of it there because with John and Paul, they can still write even though we're sort of not working together. And George can, you know, learn his sitar and do things like that. And I've just been sitting around. Getting bored? Uh, no, getting fat. <laughs> but if you fed up of being sort of Beatles, the thing is, it, we can't do a tour like we've been doing all these years because, because our music's progressed, we've used more instruments. It'd be soft us going on stage, the four of us, and trying to do the records we've made with orchestras and, you know, bands and things. So we'd have to, if we went on stage, we'd have to have a whole line of men behind us. Are you getting bored of being the Beatles after all this time? No. Not I'm having a great time. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Jim. Well, Long time since I've seen you. Thank you very much, Ringo. That's all right, thank you. Are you going to work now? Well, I'll see what they're up to. I think it may be tea time with any luck. Yeah. Bye.